Now, remember, DMK Minister Pon Mori had uh, been quizzed by the Enforcement Directorate yesterday. He left the Enforcement Directorate office at around 3.30 a.m. early this morning. The minister had been taken to the ED office, remember, at about 8.30 p.m. yesterday in the evening. This comes after raids had been conducted. Now, he was interrogated at the ED office for nearly seven hours, and he is also slated to appear once again before the Enforcement Directorate at about 4 p.m. today. Now, remember, this story of raids and in another DMK minister being uh, quizzed by another central agency is raising a lot of criticism uh, because remember, the opposition has constantly said that the misuse of central agencies is what's being done under the central government. And specifically, this also comes after Tamil Nadu Minister Senthal Balaji was also raided. Remember, those raids on Senthal Balaji had taken place by the IT in April this year. He was then arrested back in June. Now, this is about another minister in the DMK government. This is about uh, Ponburi. Now, he had also, raids had also been conducted on his residence and his son's residence as well. We're crossing over to CNN News 18's Purnima Murli to tell us more about this. Uh, Purnima, tell us more about the inside details of the ED questioning that took place last night. We're learning that the minister left the ED office after a period of seven hours at 3.30 uh, a.m. this morning. Uh, Purnima, can you hear us? Oh, well, can you repeat the question, please? Yes, can you give us any inside details that we might have on the questioning that took place? Well, in fact, this case dates back to uh, the period uh, 2006 to 2011 when Purnamudi was the mines minister and there were five mines that were allocated that were in violation of uh, norms because two of the five mines were uh, all uh, allotted to uh, the son of Ponmodi and three others to people known to him is uh, is what the ED is probing currently. The ED uh, is probing in this angle and says that this case dates back to 2006 to 2011 when mines were allocated to uh, to people uh, who are directly linked to the minister and the interrogation also are along the lines is what ED sources confirm. Remember yesterday at around 8.20 p.m. Ponmodi was uh, taken to the ED office. He was interrogated for more than seven hours. The ED has once again issued summons to him and his son, Gautam Shigamini, and they will have to appear before the ED today again at 4 p.m. While the DNK calls all these politically motivated raids and says that even after 13 years, there have been no proofs that have been found and the, and the BJP uses uh, the central agency only because the DNK is pushing for an opposition, a united opposition for 2024 elections. All right, Purnima, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us those details. We're going